So Ambassadors was a 2013 comedy drama on the BBC starring David Mitchell and Robert Webb. Now, of course, you say these people and everyone's like, ah, Peep Show, ah, Mitchell and Webb look, ah, that guy who's on panel shows and Robert's Webb sometime. Please don't do anything on Robert's Webb. Uh, but, but the premise was simple. It was a sort of Far East ex-Soviet state with David Mitchell and Robert Webb playing ambassadors. Uh, Keely Hawes was there, who's David Mitchell's wife. What? Who's my wife? Who am I married to? Keely Hawes. <laughs> Keely Hawes? Yes. Keely Hawes is my wife. And Tom Holland shows up for an episode. You're joking, Treasure, did you know about this? Now, they only did three episodes um, of one series, and it's, it's very funny. And the thing is, it kind of, I don't want to say it bombed, because it was see, mediocre reviews, like good to medium, and everyone forgot about it. And it's a real shame, because I really, really enjoyed Ambassadors. When I was first applying to get into TV, this would be my go-to, here is why it failed. And I just thought, in the bleak January and February that we've had, I'd love to do a video on First Dates Hotel, but I don't think I've quite got the audience here. Um, I thought I could do a quick chat about it. And so basically, it's not as laugh out loud funny as their sketch stuff, as their panel stuff, or even Peep Show. It's an hour long format with three episodes, and it's very much about drama. Now, this comes from several plot lines. Each episode has a few things going on. Robert Webb has a thing with this local girl. There's always some sort of problem of the week to solve, and General David Mitchell being incompetent with his superiors at the Foreign Office. It was all filmed on location in Turkey, and you've got these three episodes in some really quite cinematic shots. It all looks very, very pretty. The locations feel really real. You've got a really broad range of cast. It's, it's really nice, and I think there's several reasons why it didn't get continued. One is that people expected different things from it. If you want to go for a laugh out loud Mitchell and Webb comedy, this is not the one for you. There are some very, very funny gags, particularly from the two sort of spies that observe their apartment. And that's very much set up like a sketch show. It runs parallel to the main series. They occasionally get some scenes which climaxes in the finale. Um, but it's just very, very funny, the kind of things they come out with, the one-liners. But it's all very self-contained and it works kind of like you'd expect a Mitchell and Webb sketch to do. In fact, if the two of them played the security guards, you'd have a Mitchell and Webb sketch. Um, and it's a shame because it feels like there's several bits trying to be self-contained and at the same time this big narrative weaving the loose together. And one of my main problems with this is I don't think it was around long enough for it to really sink into the conscience. There's a lot of location shooting, there's a lot of... I don't know, complicated plot lines isn't right because for comedy it is complicated, but in terms of BBC drama it's, it's very simple. No one's quite got the dark and mysterious past except there is an ambassador that went missing, so he can be the, the dark mysterious past. But the rest of it, it's fairly easy going drama, but it's quite heavy for comedy. Natalia, you've arrived just in time to save me from an ethical grilling by my wife. It's dealing with things like the Arab Spring and trying to find humour in that, and you couldn't do that these days. In the three and a half years it's, it's, since it's been out, Middle East has changed quite a lot. It's gotten quite dark, and this kind of represents a different understanding. The political climate feels a world way. It is very much a product of the Foreign Office, but it was seen as a good thing if it meddled and you had to hit deadlines and sometimes they were a bit wary. And you compare that to now where it's all, oh God, Saudi Arabia, what have we done? Why have they cluster bombed everybody? And shit, Boris Johnson. Well, yeah, as, uh, as I'm sure you'll accept, the senators are very distinguished politicians. I'm sure she will take those words in the light-hearted spirit in which they were intended and, and written. And it's a shame because there are some unresolved plot lines. They're not the biggest hooks in the world, but there's a lot of charm to it, and especially Tom Holland's episode, which if you are going to watch any of it, I'd watch the second one, just start with that, there's not much context you need, is very, very funny and very, very charming. It fits together quite well, the cast is very well, um, and they're not the most complicated characters, but there is a lot to it. And in my eyes, if they'd split it into six half-hour episodes, you'd lose some of the high drama, but you could quite easily cut the episodes in two, maybe like either cliffhang it or just try and rearrange your bits and parts. And it would work really well. You'd have more time in this sort of shot on location world, which is one of the strengths of the show. You'd have a far better understanding of the characters. You'd have slightly more breathing room and you'd get a few more gags in. You could build episodes around gags instead of a plot line. You could have more Tom Hollander because who doesn't want more Tom Hollander? And yeah, it's, it's a shame it's gone is all I'm trying to say, but look, Apologies everyone that there's been such a big gap between the last video. Um, Full-time work really isn't very fun if you're trying to do YouTube videos on the side as well. Um, so I thought I'd chat about one of my favourite shows from the last decade, which maybe you've forgotten about. Or maybe you never saw it, and I would recommend giving it a watch. The DVDs are on Amazon, you can get them from BBC, they're all fairly cheap I think. 
Um, but let me know in the comments if you saw it when it came out or if you've now gone away and watched this video and then gone and watched it. Let me know what you think. And if you could drop us a like if you found this at least vaguely informing, that would be very helpful. Um, hopefully see you soon. I'm not going to give you a time scale because who knows? Um, thanks for watching.